Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Jason Plays Games. Um, I only recommend games that I think are worth your time and energy to play. Uh, so, if you look around at this, this game is called Magic Streets. Um, if you look at it, it might look a little familiar to you uh, if you've played Pokemon Go. This is the same concept, basically. You're running around fighting monsters, but this is an RPG type version. Um, you get gear, improve your character. You spend skills and attribute points um, to make your character. So, um, I actually have this running on my phone and have an account already. Um, I picked Warrior, so that's what I'm going to pick this time just to be familiar with it. Um, I did do Mage once. Uh, it costs you 100 gems to reset, so basically they give you 100 gems for free at the start, and you could use those 100 gems to reset your character and start over if that's what you chose to do. Uh, I mean, really. I don't know that it was that big of a difference. It was just different attack types. I felt like the warrior was easier to use than the mage. So when I was looking at the mage and warrior, they had similar skill trees. They both had an ability that did damage. They both had a thing to increase your armor. They both had this part of the tree was the same, increase your health, increase your mana, um, accuracy. So, like, they get different attack abilities here, and then down here changes. Um, these are abilities for groups, so how often you're really going to play in a group, I don't know about that. Uh, there are raids, just like uh, the other game. You get to go fight bosses, which is how you get a lot of your rewards, I think. Okay. Do we have any skill points? None. We get a dagger to start with. And we do have some gloves we can throw on. So this is a resource. Eventually you're going to build a settlement. Um, I chose to build mine near my house. You can choose to build your settlement anywhere and then you just travel to it. So something I did notice later when I was playing. See these little icons here? How that's different than this just attack? So they have hostages. So if you fight these battles, you're rescuing people and they're coming to live at your settlement and that's how you increase your settlements. Oops, gotta give it a name. My town. Yes, build here. I'm not gonna go through it because it kinda teaches you how to do it. I'm uh, just gonna go through a fight and show you kind of how it works a little bit. Um, so you wander around your town, your actual town in the real world, and you can go to these different areas. Uh, eventually, oh, you can do it now. So you can build towers for this resource type. So I built a tower at my current location, but you can move it. I had to travel to it, I guess, to move it. Get the option. Oh, that's the settlement. That's why I was trying to move the tower.
Well, it just so happened I built it right on top of my town. That's unfortunate. No, I want the tower. There it is. Watchtower. Then you, it doesn't cost anything to move, and you can move it where you want to. So, you can move it actually anywhere that you can see. So, in a way you can use it to travel around without actually walking. So, we're going to move it right next to this resource here. Just so I can show you. Actually, I'm moving here to next to this guy because I already showed a resource. So I think this is a quest guy. Now if I return... See that tower is all the way over there now? Oops. We don't got enough mana to do that right now. There we go. So these cost your mana. And eventually you can build up your mana and do different things. So here's this guy that we just traveled to next to our tower. So this was actually a traitor. And I'm probably going to buy something from him because we have just a little dagger. He's got some nice stuff, but look at how much coins it costs also. And we have 100. So, this two-handed sword costs 240. 180 for a bow. And it does 18 damage, 12 damage, 12 damage. 16 damage for the shuriken. 18 damage with the two-handed sword. So, I don't know that we can even get enough to... There's 240 right there. That's not bad. So they have different ranks. See the stars? Where did that two-handed sword go? That'll help us move along a little bit. Alright. So back to our inventory and equip the new sword. It didn't even do that much more damage. So they give you a little tutorial on how to fight with your different characters. Um, all of them attack kind of differently. And I'm using blue stacks. And for some reason blue stacks makes my character weirdly black outlined like that. Usually you actually get to see your character and the armor that they're wearing. I don't really know why it's... all black like that. Just something weird with blue stacks and some settings. I could probably find some setting in blue stacks to fix it. I'm not sure. but. Not really relative to showing the game that much. It's actually a really hard fight to start with. 
and you don't get that many potions at the beginning of the game. So... I'm actually not sure what happens if you die either. I've never actually seen it. So right there, see? We got plus one to our settlement. That's us rescuing that guy. So now this you can look at. And now we can add that Scorpion King as our companion because we beat him once. And these are all your undiscovered guys. It goes through and shows you a little picture of all the little guys in the game. And all of them have different little add-ons, I guess you could say. Different um, abilities. So, and you have to collect more of them to level them up. So, let's see how it skips to level 3. So when he hits level 3, he would gain this ability. So right now, this is what he has. So if we go fight, right here's your companion button. I, this was actually the coolest feature that I found that helped me, as I didn't realize that my companion was able to do anything. I just thought he was cool and followed me around. I didn't know anything at the start. And that really helped because you only have a, just that set amount of health and you regen really slow. So being able to kill a lot of the guys in one round really saves your life totals. Anyway, um, hmm, what else do I need to show? Uh, show the settlement, got some gold shopping but uh, a lot of these things are just things you gotta discover there's uh, dungeons that you can do that right there is a boss fight if you go to that you can do a boss fight with other people um, if everyone's what I found was that there's different bosses that were more popular if you like pop in and out of there then different guys show up and then when you beat them you get bigger rewards than just your regular run-of-the-mill guys so I don't know give it a look it's worth your time um, one of the things that I do think was worthwhile let's see if it shows it this remove the ads um, if you do get into the game and you do like it I do think the ten bucks was worth putting in oh see there you go it shows your regen right down here so this ten bucks to play the game I feel like if you really get into it you know you can try it for free and if you like it go ahead because at the end you get uh, options to do ads for your rewards and it doubles it so Oh, sorry, excuse me. Definitely think the game's worth your time. You should check it out, especially if you enjoyed uh, Pokemon Go. As always, thanks for watching, and check out my other videos.